New year, new menu. ABC 57 is once again bringing you right inside that look at our restaurants and bakeries all across Michiana. ABC 57's Mary Galt Rider starts off the first Michiana's menu of 2022 with one question. Who let the dogs out? You see the logo of the stray dog just about everywhere, but you might be asking yourself, what's the story behind it? Buffalo is a destination hotspot in its own, and Stray Dog, I think, has been one of those things. You know, we have kids that have been coming here for years that say, and they were, oh, I want to go to the dog place. I want, you know, with all the dog pictures everywhere. You know, you remember when, you know, you were a kid going places, little things that stuck out to you. And dogs you can sure find. Welcome to Stray Dog. The new Buffalo Hub is home to a warm atmosphere with savory burgers and a menu unlike any other. But perhaps what people might first notice are the dogs. If people tell us from all over, people that go to other countries, you know, of course, down in Florida, we go to Disney a lot. We see stray dog sweatshirts all, all over Disney World. The stray dog has been around for 20 years. The owners first decided on the name after some of their friends took in an abandoned dog. He was known as Jack and is the inspiration behind the iconic stray dog logo. The restaurant has been in its location off of North Whitaker Street since 2003. But in 2012, the restaurant lost everything to a fire. Everything but the original stray dog. And we couldn't find Jack's painting, but we didn't see remnants of it anywhere. We noticed there was a giant pile of rubble right in front of that fireplace where his painting used to sit. And we started digging through and digging through and digging through. And at the very bottom of that pile was Jack's painting still completely intact. The restaurant rebuilt in its original location with a waterfront view that is hard to find anywhere else. It makes this destination a year round getaway for community members and visitors alike. Once they get to the Michigan state line, it's almost like just a sigh of relief. It's like, Oh, and they get into New Buffalo and they see the water and they see the boats and it's like a mini vacation. You know, it's like you're not far, but it feels like a world away. But of course, people also have their sights on the menu. The restaurant offers half pound charred black Angus beef burgers, artisan hand tossed pizzas, jalapeno poppers, turkey clubs, Rubens and more. The menu offers a little bit of everything. You can look at the menu and you can kind of create your own create your own experience. You know, there are some higher end things on the menu that are really nicely done, beautiful entree salads and poke bowls, or you can have a hot dog, have a burger, you know, <laughs> have a, whatever you want to do. The stray dog makes their food from scratch and the customers can taste the difference. I usually get my favorite, which is the kale salad because it's so delicious and it's healthy for you. Well, I'm a big appetizer person, so my favorite thing here is the pot stickers. Yeah, I'm not nearly as healthy as my wife, so I like the <laughs> pot stickers instead. And our favorite is everything on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> and the people are so nice. The staff is nice. They're welcoming. They're efficient. You couldn't ask for a nicer place to be. The Reuben sandwich. I've had Reuben sandwiches Every from, time. E from a lots of different parts of the country. And this is one of the best Reuben sandwiches that you can get. You come here, you like Reuben sandwich, you have to order it with the smokehouse burger and jalapeno poppers for my visit and I couldn't help but agree. Holy. Oh my god. Oh. If I had to eat anything for the rest of my life every single day I would pick this burger. I want this burger at my wedding. The birth of my firstborn, my funeral. Yes, you could say I really liked this burger. Mary Caltrider, ABC 57 News.